camera that I got. So basically, I just sped it up a bit because my air conditioner on and the quality was bad, but that was the case I got, and then that was the camera, like the box that it came in. So here I'm just opening the PowerShot G7X Mark II, which is the specific one I got. I wanted to get the updated one because, you know, it's better quality. So it comes with this booklet on how to use it, and then there were a bunch of other papers in there that you can also use. And then there was this random coupon thing that I found, so yeah. So then what I did is I removed all the paper out of my box, and then I actually took the camera out and removed all the other paper in order to get the chargers and more paper that was in the box because they used an excessive amount of packaging here. So here's what the camera looks like. It looks pretty cool. I was like so excited when I actually took it out of the box because I cannot wait. I couldn't wait until I actually opened it and this is basically what it looked like but I didn't turn it on because the battery wasn't charged but this is the flip out screen and it just changes around like that. And then here was the battery charger and then the battery pack came in this little package as well and then I took all that out and I charged the battery. So here what I'm doing is just putting the strap onto my camera because that's basically what you're supposed to do when you get it and yeah. I'm just doing that right now and putting it on the side of the camera. I don't think it matters what side, but I'm probably going to get a new scratch strap soon because this one's not very durable, so yeah. Hey guys, so right now you guys saw the unboxing of my camera, so right now I'm going to be sharing a little bit about like a camera case I bought, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about how it performs, and I'm going to be showing you guys some clips of like zooming in of different light conditions. I'm not going to show you at night though because it's not nighttime here, so. Why would I do that? And it's overcast today, and this is the quality, which I think is really good. But anyway, so I'm gonna share first my case that I bought. So it's just a lower pro case. It was like $12 that I picked it up for, and the inside is pretty soft, and there's like a hard panel here so that it doesn't like, I guess, ruin your lens. So I put that that way. And then in the front, there's a little pouch where I like to put my memory card. I have a bunch of memory cards, but I purchased a I don't know what it's called, I'll put a picture of it like right here and like what it's called and I'll link it below. But that is the best memory card you can get for this camera and I bought it for my GoPro originally but I also use it for this. Uh, as for quality, I think this quality is like amazing. I have not ever had a camera that's this good and I film with my iPhone which was pretty much better than all the cameras I've gotten so that kind of gives you a little bit of say as to how poor camera quality is on the cameras I bought. Because I spent like $200, $100 on these cameras, like the Nikon L830 and a Sony point and shoot, but they're just horrible, so I, not that I don't recommend them, but like they're more for outside and like photography rather than like video, like honestly. If you're going to go for like a video camera, like even if it's just going to be like a sit down video, this I totally recommend because it's super, super durable and you can also like move around with it and it's lightweight too, so it's perfect for that. And I didn't want to get a DSLR because my problem with the DSLR was that it would be too bulky and I wouldn't be able to actually like hold it up.